Hello guys, it's your girl Dani here from my beautiful studio with another video. So today I wanted to share with you guys kind of like a journey that I've been through in the past month or so in which I've been trying to recover from really unhealthy habits that I built all through Christmas and that were really, really hard to get out of until last month that me and my boyfriend decided that it was enough and that we had to change it and that we had to go back to actually feeling who we were and like how we looked going back to feeling comfortable with ourselves and it was quite a journey it's been quite a journey uh, for the last month so i just wanted to share with you a couple of the things that i actually did to see if maybe those could help you if you are in the same situation of trying to get of unhealthy habits or building new healthy habits that you want to incorporate in your life to feel better with yourself to look better to just get healthier and just be a little bit happier so guys yeah like i said christmas and i think even before christmas whenever the the other lockdown hit like the last lockdown in london hit it's been kind of like a hit and miss for me personally exercise wise food wise i just started kind of like giving up on life in that sense after november and just started just eating homemade junk food all the time because that's the only thing i fancied um exercise wise it was like i said a hit and miss i wasn't exercising that often and if i was it wasn't like it wasn't regular it wasn't it wasn't good it wasn't to build anything i didn't have a program i hadn't created a program for myself everything was just very very disorganized and so i felt a little bit lost and and it kind of started you know having its consequences on my body, on my mood, on how I felt just in general. Christmas, it was, you know, how crazy Christmas was with like the full on lockdown. And it was just a bit mental. I was a bit tired of everything. And I just completely stopped exercising for almost three weeks, like nothing at all, not moving from like the sofa or wherever I was and just continued eating loads and loads and loads without really needing to, but it was just more like, that anxiety that I had, I think. And so I just kept eating, even though my body didn't really need the calories or the energy. So guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you a picture of me at the beginning of February, here. That was me a month and a bit ago. And I know what you're thinking, oh, she's so exaggerated, it's all right. Yes, but also no, because the way I felt and the way I, I looked at myself in the mirror, I had accumulated quite a bit of belly fat that I didn't, didn't used to have. My definition, like my arms definition, like this is a little bit better now. But before that, there, there wasn't really anything. I had lost that because I completely stopped training. And like there was obviously some accumulated extra fat in my arms. My legs the same. They just looked a bit... Uh, there wasn't, you, you couldn't see the muscle there. Like just in general, I just didn't feel good with myself. So to change all that, the first thing that we started doing was in the kitchen, okay? Because your diet is so important, guys. If you want to achieve any changes in your body, your diet is super, super key. And what we started doing wasn't a crazy change in our diet. It wasn't like, oh my God, we need to go in a massive caloric deficit. It was, we, we focused it more on the types, like on the groups of foods that we ate. And what we were gonna focus more was on eating more fats and less carbohydrates, because that's what worked for us in the past, in the summer. And so we wanted to try that again a little bit. And we didn't like just go off carbohydrates completely, because that's unrealistic for me. I love bread, I love pasta, I love pizza, like, they're the loves of my life. But just focusing throughout the day on eating more fat and protein, okay? Instead of eating, like adding carbohydrates to all our meals and focusing more on eating those carbohydrates at the end of the day. So for example, we would eat some eggs with bacon in the morning for breakfast. Then for lunchtime, we would go for a ribeye or like any type of protein, ribeye, chicken, well, chicken thighs, more than chicken breast. Um, pork shoulders, anything with a little salad. That included avocado, okay, like a healthy fat and some olive oil. And then in the evening, we would just go whatever we want. We would have some pasta, like some carbonara, or if we wanted a pizza at some point in the week, we would do that. And I know where you're thinking, where's the fruit? You know where? <laughs> and I thought the same. I tried it for a week, not having fruit because I was literally trying to be ketogenic throughout the day and then just 
eat the carbs, just focus on the carbs during the evening, solely in the evening. And that didn't work for me because my body is very sensitive to not eating fiber. And so I was feeling really bad, really constipated. And so Reese, my boyfriend, he continued doing kind of like more that half ketogenic diet throughout the day while I decided that I was gonna do my smoothies in the morning and yes, they're carbs because they're sugars, but even though that was the case, I would just eliminate any bread, any rice, any pasta throughout the whole day until the evening. And that guys, that simple change of not eating that hard carb throughout the day has made such a difference that it is crazy. Not only on the way I look, cause obviously just a small change like that is not gonna like completely deal with all my problems, but on the way I felt just in general, cause I was feeling really heavy throughout the day, all day, just because I think I was eating a bit too much and a bit too carb loaded and that normally can make you feel very, very bloated. And so just making that change made me feel a bit better with myself a bit in the sense of like feeling in my stomach and just my organism in general. Another change that came into my life at that point was exercising more than twice a week. And that was really, really, really crucial to all the change. I started working out five times a week and that's what I'm doing right now, Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday if I work out good, if I don't, then I don't. Also, I know what you're thinking, yeah, but if you work out more than an hour, no, I don't work out more than an hour. I work out four to five minutes a day, very intense workouts in the sense that there aren't a lot of rest times and it's like, I'm really, really challenging myself, but they're not super mega long workouts because they do not need to be, they just need to be effective and they just need to focus on whatever you're trying to achieve. So yeah, that together with the eating patterns that I had changed just worked marvelously guys and not only to make me look better but also to make me feel better with myself and to for my body just actually to feel better less heavy um less worried less sad that i just wasn't doing anything for myself because i was really disappointed in myself for not really taking care of me supplements wise i did not take anything for the first week where i tried like i told you where i tried to do the kind of quarter or half ketogenic diet i was drinking some uh, exogenous ketones uh, that were horrible by the way but um, at that point because I couldn't really do the, the ketogenic diet and I had to eat some fruit then those were kind of out of the window those are really good if you're actually going for more of a ketogenic diet they will accelerate that fat burn process and accelerate um, your body to actually start really burning fat and using fat as fuel instead of carbohydrates. But apart from that guys, there wasn't really anything that I used. And the last bit that we actually changed and that was not actually as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but it made a massive, massive, like I think it, it did make a big change was we stopped snacking after dinner, a full on Toblerone each one. <laughs> I know it's shameful, but we got into that habit and once you're in it, your body just craves it. And I promise you, it really literally needs that Toblerone in the evening. And it could vary from like half a Toblerone to a whole Toblerone, like each one. And it just got kind of out of hand and just stop, like we stopped doing that at some point. Throughout the weekend, I'm not gonna lie to you, we st you still eat Toblerone cause like, you know, you need the pleasures of life. And I love Toblerone, I love chocolate. And so throughout the weekends, I do not control myself a lot, but throughout the week, no Toblerone. And just that, just that little change literally subtracts between 300 and 600 calories a day from your diet. So that's already, you're already on the win with that calorie deficit. So yeah, guys, if you love snacking after dinner, if you love a dessert, just try and switch it out a little bit for a little bit of yogurt or for just, you know, a couple of, of pieces of Toblerone, but don't eat half a Toblerone or a whole Toblerone like we were doing. But apart from that, guys, honestly, not a lot else changed. And I think these three changes that I mentioned to you, changing your diet, so decrease the number of carbs or the amount of carbs that you're eating throughout the day. Second, exercise more, you know, even if it's 40, 45 minutes a day, five times a week, that's good enough. Get someone, get a, a coach to program for you, a program that actually adapts to what you can do and to get, like, to get just the best results that you can get with the amount of time that you actually have in your life and stop snacking after dinner or you know throughout the day control that snacking because that will control the number of calories there are three things that literally they have been such game changers to how we look 
how we feel, not only physically, but also mentally and how we kind of see ourselves and, and how we're achieving what we want to achieve and achieving our goals without having to really go through massive changes, through fat diets, through like horrible training programs, you know, like crazy stuff that you don't want to get into because it's not sustainable. You want to create sustainable life changes. And these three things are really, really sustainable and they're really, really easy to just get into and get into the habit of doing. And to show you a little bit of the results so far, because it, honestly, it's been just a month and a bit and I know changes in your body don't happen from night to day. So I know we still have a long way to go. I still have a long way to go to look however I really, really, really want to look. But right now I feel really happy with myself and how I look and so if you want to see a little bit of that, I just took a little video of how more or less I look right now. So exactly, as you can see, I'm not there yet, but there has been some changes and I am on the right path without having to really sacrifice anything that I love, i.e. food, and just learning to enjoy exercise because I do enjoy it and I do love it. Um, and just having that and doing things that you actually love will help you achieve the things that you want to achieve way faster and way easier guys and that was it for the video thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope these tips are useful for you if they are and you want to learn more about how to change the way you feel and how to change the way you look just you know hit the subscribe button don't forget to leave us a comment down below and give us a like show some love to the channel and just enjoy your life guys get fit, get healthy. Believe me, it's going to make you so much happier and you won't regret it. Have a good day, guys, and I'll catch you up in the next one.